Yo, YouTube, what's happening? Gino the Dragon back. It's been a while, so I did a toy haul video, but I got some new action figures. Definitely about to show off so I can crack these open. First up, start with the G.I. Joe. Ignore the Lego bag for now. It's not even Legos, but it's Vintage Surprise, so you gotta wait for that. First up, got some Yojo action. G.I. Joe Retaliation. Found Jinx. Kim Arashikaye. Uh, hit these up, or I found these at a store called Five Below, or like um some new, I don't know, kind of discount store almost. But heard about them. New action figures, five dollars. Yes, got some new Joes, five bucks. Jinx was cool, but she wasn't the real reason I went there. The real reason, very happy to find some Night Vipers. Finally, we've shown these Night Vipers a long time ago. And they're finally starting to pop up. People have been finding these. A lot of people on HisTank.com. It's a big G.I. Joe website that I use. That I go to a lot. Message boards, news, and all that. But so happy to find these. Huge fan of the Night Vipers. Just kind of sucks that they're dressed in this ugly retaliation cards. But I wish they were on the 30th packaging. That would be awesome. So that was pretty cool. 30th or even Pursuit of Cobra. The Pac stuff was cool, too. But anyways, happy to have them. And the rest of these are all not Vipers. Got my squad of four. I always armor build four. Except for Techno Vipers. Only got two of those. They had a few more. Crimson Guard. And then Eels as well. But usually I go with four. So yeah, definitely ready to crack these open. Looking for these for a while. Don't pay those eBay prices. Don't do it. You'll regret it. I've already searched on there just to check them out. If you do eBay, you're going to pay them like 25, 30 bucks per figure. I found them for five bucks, five below. Check it out. You need to focus in there, but yeah. G.I. Joe, happy to have some new G.I. Joe figures. Yo, Joe. Or in case of the Night Vipers, Cobra. But yeah, slide those to the side. Now. It was a big surprise. <clears throat> so I was at C2E2 over the weekend. And usually I don't do a lot of toy shopping at conventions because prices are ridiculously jacked up, especially on new stuff. But I found some vintage toys I was looking for. And I'll give you a second to guess what line they're from or what franchise. Go on, I'll wait. Do, do, do. Okay, you're taking too long. Ready to show them off. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, got some more vintage Ghostbusters. Peter, Fankman, and Ray Stance. Picked these up on Sunday of the convention. Got a pretty good deal for them. Got complete, intact proton pack here. This is Ray. He's got the orange, the orange stream. And then this is Dr. Fankman's, but it's broken. It doesn't have the handle. And the, the stream is broken, but I really don't care too much about that. As long as the Proton Pack is intact, the beam is kind of flimsy anyway, and it wouldn't really fit in the car when I get the Ecto-1, which I don't have yet. But I'm going to be picking one of those up soon. And they got their ghosts. So, yeah, happy about that. I just need Egon and Egon and Winston. I'm checking out a few auctions on eBay, so I'll have those pretty soon, hopefully. So yeah, I'm crazy ecstatic to have these. I was always fascinated by their proton packs on these for some reason. I don't know why. They're not even that detailed. Not much to them, but I always loved it as a kid. So happy to have these. And yeah, Ghostbusters. Definitely perfect time to have these. The 30th anniversary this year. I'm going to be doing something for... The 30th anniversary, I don't know what yet. Maybe do some videos. Definitely have a few posts on the blog, comicbooklegends.blogspot.com. And I'll probably do a couple of videos to show off my entire Ghostbusters collection, uh, action figures, comics, movies, everything I got. Uh, so, yeah, there's that. I'm go ahead and show you all my toys again in the background. Joe's 
Ghostbusters, awesome toys representing 80s franchises. So yeah, definitely ready to crack open those Night Vipers. Check those out. Look pretty cool. Now, a lot of nice accessories. I want some vintage ones too, but I need more of those vintage Night Vipers. And yeah, Ghostbusters. Got to be careful. I don't want to break. I'm tempted to break this just because... It's, I mean, I don't know. It don't like on display. It would just be big and out of the way, and I couldn't have it on Ray's back. It just wouldn't work. But let me pop this in here. Show you how it looks. The proton pack on him, Peter. Blue proton pack. He had these weird green eyes too. But yeah, and then Ray. Pop Ray on there. And then you got the, the stream hanging off. It's just kind of, you couldn't have them standing. So, yeah. That's my haul. My toy haul. G.I. Joe Retaliation. Jinx. Night Vipers. Vintage Ghostbusters. Peter Vankman. Ray Stans. With uh, Winston Zedmore and Egon Spangler on the way soon. And Ecto-1. So, yeah. There's that. Let me know if you guys are uh, into Joes or into Ghostbusters. Oh, yeah. Be on the lookout for uh, Mattel is doing some 30th anniversary figures, Ghostbusters. And they're going to be redoing their uh, the recent Ghostbusters or their last Ghostbusters figures, but with removable proton packs. So if you have those before, you notice the proton packs don't come off. They're actually redoing them. Removable proton packs, which they should have did the first time around, but I'll be looking for those. Definitely. There'll be two packs. I don't know if they've been priced yet, but probably going to be around 40, 50 bucks, I'm guessing. So, yeah, Ghostbusters. So, yeah, check out my toys. And I'm about to crack these open. Hope you enjoyed my little, my little small toy haul. And thanks for watching. Gino Dragon saying, peace out.